Welcome to another weekly market update. Today is March 31st, 2019. In this video, we're going to take a look at the cash indexes and also the respective ETF and see uh, what has transpired in the previous week and also uh, what to look forward to in the uh, coming week. Let's start off looking at the Dow Jones Transportation weekly chart here. As you can see, uh, the uh, transportation had a nice week. It bounced back off of this 9900, 99.77 uh, support level and uh, looked like it might uh, try to come up and test this uh, declining trend line again. Even though it break this trend line, we still need to see could it get back above this pivot high here in order to put in a higher high then we essentially would have a high, high, higher low formation and then we'll be uh, watching for this potential resistance at 10,977. Otherwise, I'd be still looking for this thing to come back down and take out the 99.77 and eventually come back in and tag this 38.2 retracement level at 96.29. And on the Dow Jones Transportation, I mean the Dow Jones Industrial, let's take a look at the weekly here. Again, it got a nice bounce off the 25,439 and it's coming up to this uh, declining trend line. So the next potential resistance is the 26,223. And if we could take out this pivot high here, then we're basically looking for the all time high back in play at 26,945. And if we can't uh, take out this uh, pivot high up uh, above the uh, 26,223, I'd be looking for it to come back and retest this uh, 25,439 and then eventually come back down and test this uh, potential support level at 24,014. And for the uh, S&P 500, the weekly, we did not see any follow through from uh, much of a follow through from the uh, previous week uh, shooting star candle. Instead, it got a nice bounce off of this, uh, you know, resistant turn support at 27.95. And right now, it seems like it might be uh, coming up to tag this declining trend line and possibly test the uh, 28.64 level. If it could take out the uh, 28.64 and stay above it and essentially come back and back test it and pass and then uh, we'll be uh, essentially looking for this all-time high put, put back in play. Otherwise, I'd be looking for this thing to come back down below the 27.95 and eventually test this potential support at 27.38, then follow to, to uh, possibly test this next uh, potential support level at 26.75. For the NASDAQ 100, the weekly similarly like the uh, S&P 500, it did not uh, have much of a follow through on the previous week uh, shooting star. Instead, it got a nice bounce off at this uh, 7308 and came back up. We test this 7400. So right now, basically looking to see would it be able to get up above this uh, pivot high here. And if it cannot get back above this pivot high, then uh, basically looking for this thing to come back down and possibly test the next, uh, well, uh, not the next, but possibly test the uh, potential support down at the uh, 7,034 and eventually uh, test the potential support at 68.16. Although there are quite a few, uh, you know, resistance level that has taken out, but uh, those would not be uh, considered uh, viable support other than the uh, 71.58 here. For the Russell 2000, the weekly chart also see, saw a, a nice bound from the Russell 2000 above the uh, 1487 and came back above the uh, 1524 support level here. Although it still uh, have not come back up to this declining trend line, even though if we break above this decli declining trend line, it still need to take out 1592 and eventually get up this pivot high and stay above that in order to put in a higher high, higher low. Uh, to reverse this uh, downtrend and uh, basically I'm looking for this to uh, continue to back off and uh, come down and test the uh, potential support level of 1487 and then eventually test the uh, level potential support somewhere around the uh, this uh, 1414 level here.
And now looking at the ETF for the diamond, these are the daily chart and basically looking at the diamond you can see that it came down, found support here at the uh, 254.35 and got a nice bounce and even came down and retested and also, also got a bounce and also shifted up the uh, point of control up at to uh, up to this uh, 258.45 level and right now it is uh, above this uh, resistance above the 257.82 resistance so be watching to see what it be able to get above this trend line and above the uh, value area high this composite value area high level somewhere around this uh, 260 area if you get above that then we'll be uh, watching this 262.08 uh, potential resistance get tested otherwise they were looking for it to come back into the zone eventually retest the uh, 254.35 s potential support and then move work its way down to the 246.65 the uh, next potential support area and for the S&P 500 you can see the S&P 500 bounce off of the uh, point of control and uh, got about this uh, 279 uh, resistance level and stay above it right now it's kind of testing the uh, value area high here the uh, 282.58 so if we could get above this confluence here this uh, you know got this trend line coming down and also a slightly uh, ascending trend line up here so there's a confluence here and also in addition to this potential resistance up at 285.50 so those are the level you know somewhere around the uh, 285 area if we could get above the uh, 285.50 uh, resistance then we're basically looking at the possibility of back testing that if it passed and the uh, all-time high will be back in play otherwise I'd be looking for this thing to continue to come back into this zone and possibly uh, you know t test the uh, VPOX again this composite VPOX near 279 and also this uh, uh, trend line here is the, the, the bottom of this uh, price channel and break to that and come down to uh, test the uh, potential support at 273.44 and then eventually work itself down to the uh, 266.98 And for the QQQ, see the QQQ came down, got a, got a nice bounce off of this uh, uh, near this uh, price channel here, and right now getting back above this uh, 178 uh, support level. So we're going to be watching for this declining trend line. Would it be able to uh, come up and take out that trend line? In addition, would it be able to get above this pivot high here, which is 182.83? If we could get above this pivot high, then we're essentially looking for the next uh, potential resistance level at 185.22 uh, to see would it be able to get above that. If that, if it uh, passed through this resistance, then essentially the all-time high. Uh, will be the uh, next potential target. Otherwise, we're looking for this thing to break down, this uh, break through, this price channel come down, retest this uh, 175.79 potential support level, and then back into the zone, dip below this 173.31, and then eventually come down to this 166.02 potential support level. And for the IWM, you can see the IWM got a nice bounce off near this 147.92 potential support level and came back up to the VPOX at 153.40 some odd uh, and changed 43, 153.43. And right now, we want to see would it be able to come up and take out this 156.12, essentially breaking out of this uh, declining trend line. And if we could stay above this pivot high here, essentially just above the 156.12 resistance, then we'll we be, uh, we'll be watching for this value area high of 158.45 to get taken out. If that's the case, then there's the uh, next potential resistance at 160.11. But I do anticipate this to continue to see weakness and continue to reverse back down to this uh, 147.92 potential support level. And that would be the level I'd be uh, keeping an eye out on if it uh, continued to come back down. Otherwise, I'd be uh, looking at this uh, value area high, this 158.45 area, to see would it be able to get above that and move above the uh, 160.11. I hope you found the video to be informative. If you do, please give it a thumbs up to give it a like. If you don't, give it a dislike and give it a thumbs down. If you're not a uh, subscriber to my YouTube channel, 
click on the subscribe button at the lower right hand corner and uh, make sure to click on that bell icon as well so you get notified whenever I upload a new video to my channel or whenever I do a live broadcast on YouTube so thank you for watching and good luck on your trading